Okay, <clears throat> first video of the new year. Today we have another wonderful time capsule Yamaha YTS-61. So these were made mid-70s to the late 70s. So this thing's a minimum 40 years old. And just unbelievable condition. Uh, again, I've been importing these straight from Japan. I have a couple guys out there uh, finding horns for me, and I, I tell them what I want. And um, when the song thing comes up, they send me a line, and I buy it. So anyhow, this is the big purple logo, the big buzzword in the in the Yamaha world. Uh, people want these early models, and you can't get much earlier than this. So anyhow, again, usually this purple logo is just gone. It's going in and out of stands and grabbing it, and it's just basically silk screened on. So um, it's just absolutely 100%. Almost every horn I get in, been smashed here. Bells have been messed up with microphones. Uh, the backside's usually messed up from buttons and shirt scratches. But look at this. It's just unbelievable. It looks like it's hardly been played. Beautiful engraving. You can see the pads are in great shape. Um, adjustable thumb rest, of course. But, um, and again, like inside, you can see even inside the bell, it looks very close to new condition. I mean, I get horns like a couple years old that are in this good a shape and this good a playing condition. It looks like it's been repadded. These, like, these are uh, newer pads than the original pads. So, um, and if they are, they're just in, in incredible condition. So this one's number... 17436, 17436, which is completely irrelevant as far as dating it because uh, the way, only way I can date them is by the features on the horns and by the cases and everything. So it comes in the original case. Let's see if I can show it to you here. In just absolutely perfect condition. Original mouthpiece, original mouthpiece cap. The cool thing, I mean, they think of things and then they drop them, which just drives me crazy. So this mouthpiece, sort of like the Auto Link, I don't see if you can see it, has a ridge down the middle here. The matching ligature has the same ridge. So when you're putting the mouthpiece on and tuning it, this doesn't all slide and fall off. I mean, just a wonderful, wonderful idea. But again, the manufacturing cost was probably too much to do it. But it just makes it really great. And, you, and even under the pad, there's absolutely hardly any use to the mouthpiece. So it looks like it was, wasn't even played. So original mouthpiece. Original owner's manual. Original polish cloth. Original swab. Original little neck cleaning tool. What else do we have in here? And uh, the original Yamaha little cleaning kit. Anything else? Oh yeah, got the original Yamaha logo strap still in here. It's just just nuts. Anyhow, um, it looks like pretty much like the day it came out of the factory. So <clears throat> I rented one of these to a guy. It was kind of beat up. So I said, oh, Yeah, I'll rent it to you. You're an adult. You're going to take care of it. And he came back and says, okay, I want to apply the rent towards a 62, a nice shiny one. So we got a couple of shiny ones out and played them. And he goes, man, oh, man, I'm keeping the 61. <laughs> it just it sounded better and played just as well. It's also one of the few saxophones made that has a guard around the low C sharp key. So if you look at most saxophones, there's a guard over the C and the ones over the two bell keys. But um, this one goes all the way around, which is really cool. They call this the racetrack model key guard. All adjustable heights on it. Real pearls on the keys, not plastic. Real mother of pearl, and they're just beautiful. And again, absolutely no wear on them. They're just nice and sharp on the edges. So let me turn the tuner off. But again, I get them all the time. The necks are all smashed down. So the neck's in great shape. No scratches, no dents. And... Um, and just just phenomenal phenomenal condition and of course it plays right down to that b flat 
I mean, I would take this anywhere and play it. I mean, I'm currently playing the 875 model, which is just beautiful, but this thing keeps right up with it. <laughs> as soft as you can absolutely play right down to the bottom. And of course down to the down to the low B flat up to the high F sharp. It blows so easy. It just plays effortlessly. Um, thumb octave key run, you know, wraps all the way around. Um, I just, for my personal preference, I put a, a riser on the D key. It's just a hair small since I'm used to my other horn. Um, but, you know, me, you may not need it. Um, just, but just, you know, incredible. Just look at the logo. It's just absolutely pristine. So, um, Anyhow, it's just I can't say enough about it. I've got a couple of these uh, in different cosmetic conditions uh, from just destroyed that I'm going to hot rod one of these days, put all my mods on it, and make it my, uh, my, my beach horn. And up to this one, which is just virtually brand new condition. <laughs> So I did a demo, I don't know, probably a couple months back on another one that was very, very clean. And I just, the guy wants to say, well, what's this one sound like? So I'm going to use the same tune and um, hopefully keep this as short as possible.
get the idea. <laughs> So I basically put this up about just to up against anything out there. I think it just it keep right up with a Mark VI or just about anything else in the world. And it seems like this older uh, the older brass Yamaha was using was just absolutely magical, um, and it's just crazy. The, I get them a lot of times. I can tell they've been rock and rolled because the bell again is just obliterated with microphone rash on it. And I can say that guy's, you know, probably some rocker that's, you know, shoving the bell and hitting that low B flat. So anyhow, trying to keep it short. Again, just absolutely, totally cool. Got another one that's a little spottier in the finish for a little bit less. But check it on the webpage, www.stevegraysaxes, that's S-T-V-E-G-R-A-Y, saxes.com. So check it out, uh, pictures and prices and all that kind of cool stuff. So there it is, the famous racetrack, YTS-61. Number 17, 436. Gotta go. Happy New Year.